Hey everybody, it's Diane from Coravina. Happy Monday. I hope you're doing really well. I hope you're having a great day. Having a good day, feeling optimistic. So let's talk about what we're doing today. We are water marbling a silk scarf. And guess what? It's gonna look like leaves. You guys voted on it in the Facebook group. Option number one is our winner today. So let's get started, right? We've got a whole bunch of colors to go with our option number one. Okay, so we're gonna start out with white gonna come in here with our more yellow tones got a whole bunch of tones yellow tones for variety here I'm gonna show you next our blue tones all right and then here we have our greens all right so we have got 10 colors today it's gonna be awesome all right Hmm. I need to, I need to pull up my picture on Facebook here so I can see what we're making. Let's find it so I can see what you're seeing. Give me just a second. Everybody have a good weekend. I hope you did. I had a really good weekend. All right. There we go. Now I'm back here with you guys. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to adjust our cameras and then we're going to get started. Hmm. There we go. Better than nothing. All right, let's clean our tray and let's get going. We've got a brand new batch of water. We've got nice clean surface to work with today. It's always my favorite part of the day, favorite part of the week, day two probably. All right, so we're going to drop this paint straight down the center of the tray. And we're going to do our priming layer of paint here. You can see it really dissipating over the surface of the water. That is exactly what it's supposed to do. It's actually priming our water to come here and fill up our tray. All right, so I am taking a peek at our leafy green quilt here. All right. So for the yellow, I think we're just gonna go everywhere. Maybe we'll go everywhere with the lighter colors and then layer in some of the darker colors. I really don't have much of a plan. Sometimes it works best that way. All right. We've got a little bit more of this green. It's light. It's not really a chartreuse. I guess it's in between a chartreuse and a lime. All right, so I like it. I like what I'm seeing here. Maybe we'll put in some of this lighter blue as well. All right, I got some lines of blue. Why not do another line of blue here? Maybe we'll encase that one. I just sprayed paint out of my tray. Oh, well, it happens. All right, so for anybody who's new, thank you for watching. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Diane, and my company is Cora Vina, and we are water marbling silk today. Last week, we did all kinds of really pretty papers, and that was super fun. But this week, we're back to silk. Silk is our first love here in the water marbling group. All right, so I'm going to come in. Let's see, maybe we'll just, maybe we'll stick with lines. We can always play with it later. So silk is our first love. We usually water marble silk scarves while you watch Monday through Friday at 5 p.m. in the Coradina Facebook group here. We are live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So if you're watching me on YouTube, hey, glad to see you. All right, we are doing a... We're being inspired by quilt today, which I think is pretty cool. There are some amazing quilters 
And if you are like, ugh, a quilt, it's because you have not looked at quilts lately on Pinterest. There is some incredible stuff, um, which is where all of our inspiration came today. So if you are interested in any of the quilts or finding out more information, you should check out the Coravina Pinterest page, which I believe is linked in the description here. All right, so other fun things we should talk about. We're doing a giveaway. And the giveaway is for a water marbled mug um, that I made using paper. The print itself was not actually made in the Facebook group. Um, but I think it was right after one of the pumpkin inspired like I think it was the day it was after the recording finished when we did the Halloween uh, golden retriever on the steps with the fall porch. It was inspired by that picture. But anyways, I have made it into a mug and I am giving it away. So make sure you go and enter that contest. It is in the Facebook group. And um, I'll let you know. That contest ends in about a week, and there's a bunch of different ways to win, so make sure you look at that. All right, I'm adding in some more color here. We want to get our color to be nice and thick. And I feel like our quilt has a lot more green in it than what we've got going on here. So I'm going to thicken up our green. got a big space of that light green up here and it's not symmetrical on the board so maybe I'll add in some more things here I can see our paint starting to stand up nicely and our goal of course is to drop one drop at a time let's see what should we add in let's add in a little bit more blue down here to fill up this green and green space I think it's going to be really pretty. I like all the colors together. Yeah, just a little something, something. Maybe a little bit more navy. So I like all of the dark colors on this quilt. Contrasting with the lighter colors. I think it's really pretty. All right, so it's looking good, guys. Let's start moving this around with our tools and see where we end up. What do you think? Let me move back over here to you guys. All right, we're going to put our tool in the water, and we are going to just gently move it down the table, and we'll see patterns start to emerge here. And we're going to bring it back and you'll see a new pattern coming through here. Kind of like it like this. Doesn't have as much white as the quilt does, but I think it's okay. Kind of like it. Okay, so we're going to come in with this tool that is six feet long. Our silks are 72 inches by 14 inches. So they're very long with plenty of ways to wear them. We're going to adjust this down. Make sure my camera doesn't move. There we go. It's looking very jungly. Kind of like that scarf or that quilt. All right, and we're gonna get really wavy. All right, coming in with this tool here. I 
and we're going to wave up and down. Nice and slow. I have missed scarves. I enjoy paper. I did miss the scarves. Interesting. We've got a fun little wave going on. Got a wave going all the way down the table. I love it, love it, love it. I am never exactly sure precisely what we are going to get. So that does make this fun. Also a little nerve wracking. All right, guys, we are going to lower down our white silk scarf and we're going to see what happens here. Think some good thoughts for me. Oh, that lower down. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. Yay. Okay, so I really like this one. It's very abstract. It is very wavy. I think the colors are dark enough that it's good for fall. Tripping over some newspaper here in my studio. All right, this is the best part. Are you ready? All right, let me adjust this. All right, we're gonna pull it up out of the water. You might see dripping and running. That's totally normal. That's just paint and water that was not absorbed into the scarf. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's pull it up. Let's see what we've got. Okay, ready? Oh, so pretty. I love all these colors. I think it kind of looks like the quilt, a little bit more white. It would have really looked like the quilt. I'm into it though. All right, I'm gonna put it in the rinse bucket. Wow, that's a good start for a Monday. All right, so we just made a water marbled scarf in a couple minutes while you watched. So what happens next? Next, I'm gonna hang it to dry. I'll iron it to heat set the paint. And then I'm gonna post pictures of our leafy quilt and our scarf and we can see how it matches up. All right, so this is Diane from Corvina and I hope that you're having a great week and I hope to see you again tomorrow while we make more beautiful scarves inspired by quilts. All right, take care guys. Remember, live colorfully. Bye-bye.